Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. You're watching one of my Toronto walk videos and today I'm taking you to the Hanlands Point Island which is located in downtown Toronto, just a quick ferry ride. So I'm in the middle of uh, the Hanlands Point and we're going to start our walk video from here. So you're looking at the Artscape Gibraltar Point and these are actually the residences of the artist. And you can see that, you know, these are very old houses and it looks like they have uh, probably like you know a studio or gallery inside too and uh, this is uh, this was built in uh, 1920 but originally built in 1888 and then due to fire they had to uh, reconstruct in 1920 so still this is you know very old and it looks really you know it has that old looks which looks uh, really cool so from here i'm just going to show you uh, a water treating plant and then we'll just you know i'll uh, go to a lighthouse which is the gibraltar uh point lighthouse and then we'll continue uh to the other parts of the island so in today's video i'm not going to go to the beaches uh, there are t uh, beaches here on this island and one of them actually is the cloth optional clothing beach and then there's the regular uh beach next to it but uh, i have a uh, video showing those beaches which you can see in my live uh, video playlist so I'm not going to go there and uh, it's going to take too much time so we'll just you know stick to this part of the island today so here we are looking at the uh, water treatment plant and then you can see that uh, this is what it looks like and you can see a uh, CN Tower a little, little bit sneaking out. So let's just continue this way. And this path is going to take us to the lighthouse, uh, which is actually not open uh, right now. Uh, if it was open, then it would go on the upper level and then you'd have a nice view of the island. But unfortunately, we cannot do this today so I'm just going to show you the lighthouse from outside and you can see that you know this is the lighthouse so this is one of the oldest lighthouses in uh, Canada and I'm going to show you some information you know once we finish uh, viewing the lighthouse so let's continue here So today is very hot here and it's cloudy and there's like you know raining on and off so I started doing video about 10 minutes ago but I had to turn uh, turned off because it started raining and I started again uh, right now so let's look at the top part and here you can see the lighthouse and this is the entrance but uh, this is uh, closed right now. You cannot go in. And again, the top part of lighthouse. So we'll continue. So today is a uh, weekday. It's uh, Tuesday, and uh, I see no one on the island. So it looks like you know uh, there are a lot of people. On the weekends but on weekends probably no one comes here and even on the weekday weekends now you're gonna see a lot of people uh, due to COVID situation but things are looking brighter and you're gonna see more people you know started to coming up uh, coming to visit you know here and there so you're looking the artist uh, residences I just showed you before and we're going to take a quick look at the island uh, I'm sorry at the lighthouse so here is the Gibraltar Point lighthouse and looks like this is the oldest surviving lighthouse on the Great Lakes and the second oldest uh, lighthouse in Canada so it was constructed in 1808 209 so this is really old and I'm going to just you know, hold it here for a few seconds if you'd like you can just pause it and you know read the whole history but definitely this is a piece of work and this is very old so I'm going to start walking uh, towards the dock and 
we're going to continue from here so on our left there's the uh, Lake Ontario and it's going to sneak out here and there which I'll show you so let's uh, keep continue and you can hear lots of birds and you can hear nature and sometimes you know tree noise wind noise so this is actually a very nice place to come and relax even if you don't want to do any activities on the island you can just you know come here from Toronto and just you know take a relax and unwind that's what I do sometimes you know sometimes I come here and don't do any video I just like you know take a few pictures and then I just uh, you know relax so this is a very good place to relax here lots of trees and wherever you look it's all green which I like so I was sweating a little before it was very hot but when I was in Toronto I didn't feel that type of hot so I have a feeling that the temperature here is higher than you know uh, than the Toronto land and all this is expecting it to be uh, cooler because of the trees and water but somehow I feel it's hotter here or it could be just you know I'm just walking that could be the reason I hear a vehicle coming so probably you're gonna see a vehicle passing by very shortly So once in a while if you see a vehicle coming here it breaks the silence of nature and then the, the noise from the vehicle uh, just sounds like you know it doesn't fit uh, in the nature so here we are approaching a small beach or it could be a small entrance and I'm not going to go to the beach but I'm just going to show you off the board from here I see another vehicle is coming I'll just stay here and let the vehicle pass so they are doing some sort of renovation and or construction and you can see that you know the entrance to the beach is right this way that's where the Lake Ontario although you know it's a lake but it looks like an ocean it looks like kind of endless and you can see the lake from here and then on our right we have some water body and then you're gonna see lots of boats and uh, very nice view a little bit later So it gives me a feeling that the path is kind of in the middle of a forest and taking me nowhere but we're going to end up at the ferry dock and that's where I'm going to end the video later on but if you notice the greeneries here and there and the trees and it's not too I don't see any wind but once in a while you can see here like you know glimpse of wind but in general it's a very quiet day and you're gonna see some people here and there but it's nothing comparing to if today was like you know weekend then you'd see a lot more people so on the left they are doing some sort of construction and they're actually renovating or putting more stuff I'm not sure what they're doing but definitely there's their works going on So I see a couple of benches here just to sit and relax if you are too tired of uh, walking so all the islands uh, are connected you can just walk from one island to another island and this is the handless point and then uh, you know we have uh, I have shown you at Central Island and Wards Island in another video 
and if you take a look on the left then you're going to see the Lake Ontario and you can see a glimpse of downtown Toronto and you're gonna see a better view when we are at the dock so it has a very good view of Toronto skyline across the water and actually I'm planning to do uh, a, an ambience video later on today showing the Toronto skyline at night so which will be coming up on this channel sometime in the future So I can't possibly imagine if you come here in the winter, you know, there are no trees, no grass, no green, no nothing. They all die and they just, you know, rejuvenate or regrow for summer, which is very short. So this is a, you know, miracle of nature, which happens in North America. I see the street lamp is on so it looks like you know they have light at night and uh, the last ferry leaves at like 10 15 or around that time but you know you cannot stay on the island so by any chance if you miss to take the ferry then you're gonna have to stay or you know spend your night sleeping on a bench because there's no hotel no nothing so after finishing my video, I'm gonna to have to just make sure that you know I get the last ferry. So let's take a look at the you know pointing signs we have here. So we have clothing optional beach, and then Wars Island Dock, which is gonna be four kilometers from here, and then Helen's Point Dock one. That looks like one and a half kilometer. Uh, that's where we are heading, and then. Central Island Dock is two and a half kilometer and Gibraltar Point uh, center of the arse uh, just we left behind so that's where and then there's the Olympic Island so that's all the signs here so let's keep continue I see another street lamp which is on although it looks dark but it's only uh, six o'clock the Sun sets about nine or nine 30 around that time so still we have uh, a long time for daylight but due to the cloudiness it looks like uh, it's kind of like you know evening right now but all this just the beginning we have another three and three and a half hours before everything is dark or the sun sets so from here you're gonna have a good uh, view of uh, Billy Bishop Airport and I'll try to you know show you some planes if uh, we get to that point So I'm not seeing any other people we passed I think three or four guys or a group of people actually I see some people ahead could be four or three but not a lot so here you're looking at uh, downtown Toronto and you can see this Rogers Center dome and then you can see the sky tower uh, the CN Tower and then we have this body of water and I'm going to just show you on here a little bit and you can see that you know there are lots of boats here looks like they're all parked
so I'm seeing people on bike once in a while and you can rent bikes on uh, Central Island and then you can just you know come to uh, Wars Island or Hanlands Point from there or you can just take the ferry directly to either Ward Island or Hanlands Point Island so I have gone uh, all the islands a few times due to uh, my landscape uh, ambient sound videos So here on the right you're gonna see a few park boards and then you're gonna see a view of downtown Toronto so I'm going to show you more once we get closer And there you're looking to the entrance to the beach but we're not going that way but uh, the clothing optional beach and regular beach they are next to each other and it gets quite crowded during the weekend but probably it's empty today So I saw lots of washrooms here and there so there's no problem if you not to wash up or go to the washrooms and the, all the facilities are very well maintained and uh, very clean so you're looking at CN Tower in the middle but it's gonna get covered by the trees and I believe this is here where there's the marmite cafe and this is the only one cafe here and I'm going to show you just a little bit and let me show you a little bit of the park boats and you're gonna see a lot more of those So we're going to take a quick look at the cafe, uh, I'm not even sure if they're open or closed today but I'm just going to go across and come around. You can see that you know there are shower facilities as well so you can sh uh, you know take shower and there are more shower fa facilities just by the beach. So this is the cafe but it looks like closed. Yeah, they're not open today and they have a small like in you know, a patio here where you can sit but they're so just take a look at it so here is this establishment and then here is a marmite cafe and they even sell alcohol but this is not the case today today everything's closed so we're just going to continue And here is a glimpse of the CN Tower. And I can see some people lounging 
by the boat so these people actually live here on the boat and I'm not sure if you can you know rent here to live but I don't think so but uh, the people you see probably they on the boat and I'm just going to you know try to go to closer and see what's there So here you can see people are relaxing and enjoying the weather and we're going to see more boats coming up shortly. And Here we have a few more boats. Very nice view. And CN Tower all is in front. And I see some people on the boat in the middle of the water. And I'm going to show you more boats just a little bit later. Let's concentrate on the road and I see some people on bike So here let's take a look on the right and if you look very carefully you're gonna see a blue bridge far that's actually in the middle of the center island and I have that bridge in my other video but probably you cannot see it that clear right now but it's there and then looks like some mosquitoes or bugs they're following me and they're trying to attack me and then let me just look at the signs over here and you can see that you know we are close to the dock and then the world island is now four and a half kilometer and there are so many washrooms here and we'll just continue here and on the left you can see some planes at the porter airport and i'm going to go close just a little bit later and uh, we'll have a better view of the uh, planes so let's take a look at that later and I feel like I'm getting some sort of uh, smoke smell so uh, it must be coming from the barbecue people are barbecuing here and there especially the people on the boat and you can see that you know some people are barbecuing right there and let's keep moving on uh i'm i i just felt a few drops of water so i hope it doesn't start raining but if it starts then i'm gonna have to you know stop the video and take a shelter under the tree because i don't want to ruin my audio and video system hopefully it's not gonna rain anymore and then we have again uh, the cn tower and it looks pretty good from here and uh you can see those lights but at night that must be a nicer view when it's all uh, lit up 
and let's take a look at the right again so this is a very nice view and on the left lots of you know grass and trees this is a very good place for dogs too they'll be very happy if you let them play here so what I'm going to do I'm going to just you know get close to the planes looks like we have an opportunity right here I can see uh, some planes and another problem I have is that it started to rain so it looks like I'm going to I'm going to have to stop the video very soon and take a shelter somewhere so I'm going to just you know include the next part of the video once you know it stops raining guys so just stop raining and I had to you know interrupt the video for a few minutes but looks like the rain is gone now so you're looking at some planes and this is actually uh, Billy Bishop Airport and you have a good view of downtown Toronto from here as well so just continue along the fence and here you can see more planes and I think at one point you're gonna get even farther uh, to the uh, closer to the plane So here it looks like we have some trees. I'm just going to pass them. And you can see that you know you cannot go in. Restricted zone. So we're just going to go a little bit farther. I see some uh, big white planes. And Right now this place kind of looks you know scary because there's no one here and if you look on the right side it's kind of you know forest or bush so probably not not anyone comes to this way So you can see those white planes that's what I'm trying to go closer let's see how far I can go and then here again you're looking at the CN Tower I see a solar panel right here so probably this lits you know lits up the airport runway So we'll go a little bit farther here then I'm going to show you some close shots of the planes and then we're going to continue and move towards right. Okay so let's look at these planes from here and we're looking at a very close view. And let me see if I can, you know, show you guys a little more. I'm going to just, you know, take my camera close to the fence and try to sneak out and see if you can see better. And here's another one.
and basically that's all you have here so let's move to the right and you're gonna continue towards the dock and I can feel the heat all that's cloudy but you know I'm kind of sweating right now and also you know, bugs are attacking me and they're trying to follow me as well but now it looks like it's you know started raining again but it's a few drops here and there so I'm just going to try to see how long um, I don't have to turn off the camera uh, so hopefully you know it's not gonna stay long because definitely it's gonna ruin the audio and video system it's very weird day today it's raining and sunny again then it's raining but we're very close to the dock and then it started raining again okay so it looks like I'm gonna have to turn off for a bit and then I'll just wait and then I'll catch you guys once the rain stops guys so I just you know had to stop again and I, I'm starting again right now and you can see that there's a taxi going somewhere and then you have a good view of the water right here and you can see all the boats and I'm seeing lots of ducks here and still it's raining a drop or two but I'm just going to finish the video uh, I'll try to finish the video and you can see that you know you have uh, the Toronto downtown right there which you're going to see a little clearer uh, very shortly and then here we have uh, the shore and you can hear nice you know water breaking on the shore very nice view and here's the canoe flipped and then here is we have a life boy and a ladder and I see some people on the bike and let's continue and hopefully we're very close to the dock so I'm hoping that you know I'll be able to uh, finish video this time without interrupting uh, because of the rain and right now it's not raining and then we have CN Tower up in front and we're heading towards the very dark area so here looks like we have a nice map of the island so I'm just going to you know show you a little bit so this is a a uh, tree tour uh, because the island is full of like lots of different types of trees and uh, other species so here are some of the you know trees or plants you can see and we'll just continue from here and I see something here so there's another a uh, big map of the whole Toronto Island and you can actually you know see that uh, the Hanlon Island is uh, right kind of uh, here let me just point to you right here so we're kind of right here right now and let me show you further so I'm just coming a little bit further to show you the whole thing so there are so many islands here and it's all very nice and beautiful so if you haven't come here uh, you should come and check out because it's just like in the steps from Toronto downtown and anywhere from Toronto is not far and I have actually seen many people who have lived in Toronto all their life and they never been to the islands so that's very unfortunate so let's uh, take a look here we have looks like there's an old ship so we're going to go and check and we're going to take a closer look at this statue right here so this is the actually history of the Hanlands Island so I'm just going to you know um, show you a little bit if you are interested just pause and read it later and I'm just going to slowly scroll down 
so you can just you know pause and read but then the history is very interesting and you should check this out and if you take a look at there that's see that you know thanks for visiting Hanlon's point and here's the view of the ship and here is the Edward Helen and from here I'm just going to go a little bit close to Toronto skyline just to show you know just to show you and then that's where we're gonna end the video and here actually you're looking at the ferry dock this is where the ferry is gonna come and then you know load and offload people but right now it looks like you know it's not scheduled to come yet so it's empty and then you can see that here the welcome sign which says welcome to Hanlon's point right there and I see that one taxi just left so I'm going to show you a little bit so this is the Tiki taxi uh, that's what actually I took to come to the island and I'm just going to go to the other side a little bit but before look at this watch or clock this is really nice and here the beach is one kilometer lighthouse two kilometer words island five kilometer and the central island ferry four kilometer so we kind of walk two kilometers today and here is the ship And this is the other side of the ship. And actually, straight up ahead is the Billy Bishop Airport. And then here is the dock for the ferry. And then here is a boardwalk. And that's where you're looking at is the skyline of downtown Toronto which is amazing beautiful and I'm trying to I'll try to do a soundscape video later on today tonight uh, when you know all the lights are up that's what I'm going to show you and then this is the ferry dock I just showed you so let's look at the skyline again and that's where we're going to end the video it's totally mesmerizing and then it's very beautiful and thank you for watching this video on this channel I'm always trying new and different ideas if that is something you're interested in please visit for more if you're only interested in walk videos there'll be links in the description box below and there's one taxi just came and you can see that the taxi is docking and you're just going to wait actually a few more minutes uh, looks like the taxi has only two passengers not many people because this is weekday but the taxi just you know adding a separate charm to the picture to the skyline and then here we're going to end our video thank you